of a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Hakashiki Ground Type, a unit from the MMSV, which is meant for ground combat. And honestly, it's a unit that I fought nothing of when I randomly got it from a drop, and um, it's quite surprising. Now, I like the Hakashiki line of mobile suits, and in general, I think a lot of them are very, very good. But this one did catch me off guard. I did not expect the performance I got from it. So let's go ahead and jump right into what it's got. So first off, it's a support that comes in the cost of 600. It is ground capable only and it has a melee priority of one. For uh, resistances, we got ballistic resistance of 30, a beam resistance of 32, a melee resistance of 10, a range strength of 30, a melee strength of 20, which is not terrible, a movement speed of 135, which is pretty good, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we have close range of 12, medium of 17, and long range of 15. Not bad. It is a little bit more generalized than I thought it would be when I saw the unit. Now for equipment, we have the Hakashiki Ground Type BR. RG, holy moly, it's an ammo-based weapon that can stagger, it has a range of 350 and it does decent damage, you can't uh, supplement anything else in. We got your Hakashiki Ground, or Hakashiki Kai Ground Type Beam Saber, pretty standard. We have Head Mounted Vulcans, modified, they're kind of weaker than I expected them to be. We have a mid-range beam cannon on the shoulder, which does some pretty decent damage, and I believe it also staggers. Uh, does have high heat, though. We got the three-tube missile pod incendiary. It fires them off in a bit of a staggered manner. I believe it has a little bit of tracking. Yep, it does. And it does okay damage, I gotta say. Then we have the shoulder grenade launcher, which I actually used fairly often. Uh, they're direct fire. They're not super high range, but they can be pretty nice. We have the beam rifle railgun, so it has an underslung railgun. And we have, of course, the Hakashiki ground type shield, which is a large shield. For skills, we have high performance radar level 2, high performance scope level 2, observational data link 1, Frontline Support System 1, Anti-Jamming Level 2, Quick Boost Level 3, which is nice, Leg Shock Absorber Level 3, High Performance Balancers, this should be on more supports in my opinion. There is one in the future that I'm going to be making a point of desperately needing these. Forced Injector Level 2, which is always nice, and Optimized Cooling Efficiency, which is also quite nice. It plays into how the unit plays on in uh, matches and on the ground. Uh, my opinion of this suit is this is a obscenely nice and very capable support. I hope it has a higher level. I don't know. I haven't checked. And I'd love to see more units similar to this. It's fun, it's quick, it plays into, of course, the style of play that I am, most likely are, uh, used to. This is a suit that is fairly aggressive as support skill. It is not a sniper suit. It is a kind of mid-range support unit, which can put up a heck of a amount of damage. Now, it does have some range capabilities. But I think for a support, this is one that is definitely suited for those who want to go aggressive. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. I hope you're having a good time. And uh, you know, I'm going to say this. I was not prepared for how well things went with this unit. Um, I hadn't used it up to this point because <laughs> I had just got it in a roll. And um, oh boy, what an interesting unit. Um, I do like the Hakashiki, but hey, I'm going to go ahead and push up here because I wasn't sure about the spawn. This is where they have the special spawn points. We're going to open up with the rifle. We're going to drop that in there and miss. And I see that we have the one 
unit that can go stealth and anti-jamming. He's going to have a little bit of issues with the pixie. I'm going to try to come up and help him. I'm going to smack him to pin him down so the pixie can hit through me and get him. And I'm going to turn my attention over to this Deja uh, Assault Package. Hit him with that. Then I'm going to hit him both with the down strike. Do some pretty dang good damage. Get some more damage in there, but hit my pixie. I wasn't attempting to do that, but meh. And you know, hit Shazam, get a little bit more damage in there. And this unit it behaves very, very well for uh, up close fighting. Uh, I was shocked by this, he's, especially considering how long it was But he's down to the head Vulcans because, yeah, why not? Hit the Zeta Gundam and get him with the down strike, get knocked down by the Pixie. And the Pixie, I believe, is done. I'm going to switch over. He's going to that unit's going to be lost. I'm going to push forward to avoid that. I'm going to hit the Zeta with uh, uh, the uh, melee attack. I'm going to get smacked again. I'm going to smack him with the rifle. I'm going to come in, down swing him. And then, oop, a little too late on the rifle. But uh, I'm going to switch over to the beam cannon. We're going to wait, and he's gone. We're going to take another shot. And I'm going to push up over the edge and fire around. I'm going to pop a few of the uh, flame missiles, but they're just not going to do anything. I'm going to pursue this, uh, this unit. Hit him with the uh, beam cannon on the shoulder. Switch over to the rifle. Hit him again. I'm going to rotate between these a little bit. And I'm going to notice as uh, he gets taken out, there's a guy behind us. And another one. So I'm going to push up in an effort to help number two. I'm going to not get my downswing, but I'm going to push them off the pixie. And I'm going to push back because I don't want to hit him with a down strike. I'm going to pop the Zeta. I'm going to throw a couple flame missiles, but we're going to miss. Switch over, hit him with one of the uh, chest missiles, I believe. And I see this going on behind me, so I'm going to zip over here. Unit is surprisingly fast as well. He's gonna turn into that, we're gonna smack him. Then we're gonna hit him with the last cannon. He's gonna go by us. And we're gonna get him again. Or use a head Vulcan to try to build up a stun on him a bit. Um, hit him with that, come in, and we're gonna take him out with the downswing. So he's gone. We're still alive somehow. We're gonna hit our. Uh, our switch buddy here, help, trying to help the uh, pixie. I'm gonna miss, but we're gonna fire a few fire missiles into him. And those do some pretty decent damage. I see the, uh, the Zeta's back. That guy's gone. We're at 3,000 health. He's still alive at the 4 minute 30 second ish mark. Before a shot out, and we're gonna just pester the Zeta a little bit. We're gonna break over here. And the Zeta's gonna come in, we're gonna come in, hit him with a charge, but he's gonna get away from us. We're gonna catch him, and that's us taken out at almost the four minute mark. So we're gonna drop in at our base. Uh, I saw this going on, so we're gonna smack the assault uh, package in the back, give him a little downswing, give him another smack to wear him down, take a shot, but miss the, the, other, the other Gundam. And we're going to watch this guy because he's going to get fixated, hit him when his invulnerability dropped. And we're going to miss that second shot, but we're going to take his unit out with the head Vulcan, Shazam. We see yeah, the Zeta, we're going to hit him with a charge, but he's going to transform. I'm going to try to hold him at bay, but I'm out of a few things. We're going to hit him, but get charged, or uh, countered. Oop. And he's going to try to get us, but he's going to end up boosting off the side. So with that, we're going to change over, put a couple rounds into uh, that one Gundam. We're going to miss our shot there. We're going to miss again by shooting over his shoulder. Always fun. But we're going to get him with that one. And we're going to flip over and look at the Zeta, whose legs are mostly out. We're going to take a shot at him there. I'm going to pursue a little bit, and I'm going to fire some missiles, knock, help knock him down. And both our bases are being base-bombed at the moment. I'm going to drop a uh, shot on that poor uh, 
Akakasha, I believe. I'm probably seeing it wrong. We're gonna take our time for a second, then fire, and bam, he's gone. So we're doing pretty good. And I'm pretty much taking to this unit, but this is around the point I'm gonna start getting a little too aggressive. Um, I probably should have hung out with number three a little bit more. But I saw two was struggling over here, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna jump over and uh, back him up thinking that some of our guys are going to come over as well, but uh, not as much and as fast as I thought. So we're going to catch the Zeta with that shot, get hit from the side, fire in the Akasha. I don't know why he's trying to outgun us. It's a really bad idea, but he's going to decide to start bailing out. We're going to fire, and he's going to get taken out by the Pixie. We're going to hit the Berm. And we're right now just kind of whipping through our uh, weapons. I'm going to take a shot, but it's the shield that we're going to hit. And I'm desperately trying to help the pixie, but I'm a bit out of a lot of my uh, my weapons. I keep forgetting about the rel underslung railgun uh, under the rifle. But we're going to just keep throwing out some damage. I think we're going to now have to push back. So this is a good example of how capable this unit is we're gonna start running back our shield's gonna get destroyed but we're gonna keep falling back and uh, do it a bit of a fighting retreat as much as we can I'm just gonna keep moving from side to side and then we're gonna boost as it the uh, charge comes back I'm gonna flip around and I'm gonna come up and try to help my guy here we're gonna take a charge and a hit but we're going to open up the chance for our team while we put him with a uh, beam saber. He's going to get taken out. The Akasha is going to push us, but I'm going to decide uh, what I need to do is come over here, help take out the Zeta as fast as possible so that we get our back secured and then we can turn around and fight these guys without realizing how close the match was almost over. Then we're going to come over, we're going to fire, we're going to switch to our missiles a little too late and fire, and that would have been him taken out. So let's see how we did. Alright, that's a pose. What a good looking unit. And we got one spot. The uh, number three was insane, and first, thanks for joining me. Bye bye